it's gosh. fine. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, oh. this is gonna be bad, isn't it? This is me. I'm I'm on Oscar level acting here. I'm just gonna drink. I'm gonna drink. Wow, that's a burst. Hello, Tanker. Hello. Very good. I didn't even you. know you'd have fucking gone live. Jesus Christ! Oh, sorry, thanks, Christ, thanks for the warning. Jesus, I nearly incriminated myself. I went live. How are you, Danker? Um, Jesus. So you look at this after shit show. I don't even get told that we've gone live. <laughs> oh, Danker yeah, preloaded. Preloaded. That's what she said. I was preloaded before I started this show. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going to get loaded now. Uh, that is the uh, you guys uh, and early. as you called it. <laughs> yep. It's true. This is very early for us. I yeah. will admit, I mean, I'm going to re-say this when we do the show. I'm very sick. <laughs> I am so sick. So sick that oh. she, she can't drink. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, now that would be... <laughs> I can't imagine that, would be, that sick. That would be, that'd be not doing the show kind of sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I may need a boost. Okay, let me... A boost. A boost. A boost. Okay. Well, I'm going to check our levels on the... Uh, yeah. Sound. And I'm not talking about the chocolate bar. Oh man, I can't eat that either. I'll be dead. But uh, oh, I boost. Do I think boosts are overrated. It's, I think it's just the glucose in it. I'm not a big fan of. Oh, they're so like over the top. They're just insane. But no, just give me a double. Give me a double deck, and I'll be happy. <laughs> See, that's the problem. I can't eat any of those. I know you can't. It sucks. You're missing out on the greatness. Oh, I know I am. God, I didn't even look wrecked. I am so sorry to our visual audience, but I am wrecked. Riggedy wrecked! You look as white as a sheet. Oh, wait, you look Irish. I was gonna say. That's about normal for Ireland. It is. Very <laughs> Which is crazy. This is what happens when you live in a basement. Yeah, <laughs> no lie. Uh, I'm actually very, very tan. My natural state is very tan. And then I came here, and I was just like, I am white! <laughs> Danger says, give me Galaxy any day. Oh, wait, I did from my leaving gift. Oh, very good. I'm so glad they got your nice. leaving gift. Uh, Galaxy is excellent chocolate. Mm -hmm. I do like it. It's up, it's up there in the top tiers of chocolates for me. Well, as we've said many times before, as an American, I love all UK chocolate. Holy crap. And a handbag. Hmm. Because American chocolate is crap, except for Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They're my favorite. Wrong. That's what I Wrong. like, but I don't care about. Men. I'm personally, I'm personally not a fan. That's because of the peanut butter. So. I know it's a very American thing. Uh, I do when I could eat them. Not that I could ever eat them, because I've always been a celiac. I just didn't know I was. I do love Hershey's cookies and cream. That is the only chocolate I was going to say from America that's actually decent. Yeah, I will agree with that. Haha. <laughs> <The>, uh, <laughs> then it says also that temporary name. <laughs> yeah, um, which is funny. Te sorry, temporary name. That might actually be the name of the episode today, might be unless the we name. find something, something better. Pete and I were discussing our 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 previous rotund features on the short that Nana posted recently. We were quite cherubic, our little round faces. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it how it was. I was fat as hell. <laughs> I was well, fat, not Kylie. really fat, but you know. Oh, uh, I was I was definitely fat, Kylie. That's for sure. Fat, long-haired Kylie, which is locked down, uh, Kylie. Yeah, yeah, some might call that water weight. I don't. I call that fat. <laughs> Mine was playing video games and eating twenty four seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Danker says, speaking of name, you may see a shift in my username. I'm thinking of dropping the nineteen part. Oh, okay. That could be good in case people. You mean like in case people try to use it to like steal your identity and stuff? Because I well, assume that's, yeah. that's probably Makes sense. a birth year or something. I would imagine it probably is. Yeah. So, yeah, fair enough. Can't we, argue with it. We won't talk about how old I was in 1990. <laughs> I can tell you how old I was. Do. <laughs> yep. Right, I'll be back in a moment. Really, I am so sorry, guys. I am very, very sick. I'm pretending not to be, which is why I'm not talking very much, and I'm acting very happy. I'm very sick. <laughs> I've definitely eaten wheat or dairy, which are the two things I can't eat. My poor body cannot handle them. 
I am just like, oh. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I think it was Danker that was talking about arthritis, probably in my chat, possibly in my chat. Uh, and then I remember, because I couldn't remember, like, I don't have arthritis, but I do remember I had sore joints when I had the flu. I forgot when I get an attack from being a celiac, oh my gosh, my joints, my ankles right now are on freaking fire, which I don't mean to complain, but that is a thing that's happening right now. Not much. I mean, you d when do you ever complain? Never. I never complain ever. My name's Kylie, not Kylie complain. <laughs> I, I like, okay, there is one funny joke in the newer newer episodes of Futurama where, um, actually I think it's last season, Zap gets cancelled. Oh, that's a good episode at least. Yeah, and someone says, uh, I wrote a complaint, that I put it, oh, I finally, it was Kiff, I finally lodged a complaint against you, and he goes, it's, it's pronounced compliment. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's a very Kylie joke. I'm gonna use that. That's a, that is a good joke, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta uh, check the levels again. Two okay, so thread or a promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I do promise I will get this wine down me, and I will perk right up. But for now, my belly belly hurts and my ankles hurt. <laughs> wow. That is just so boring. Why would I talk? I'm not going to talk about that. Let's talk about something fun. Um, oh, I have my lucky poop with me. <laughs> Hint why we named last week's episodes. My poop smells like blueberries. I love him. Her. Them. Them. I love them. They're the name of my main characters on my channel. My channel will always be P-E-W-P. Oh, Danker says, shoot, false alarm. The name is already in use, stalling the change. Ah. Ah, that's a shame. It's fine. I'm sure you can find a, another name. Yeah. Just keep going up and keep going. 91, 92, it's coming 93. Up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's there. <laughs> ah. Okay, Pete. I'm really sick. I'm flagging. I know. Sorry. We're Two gonna seconds. have to do this. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna um 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 shoot this like a shooter. Did that make sense? That didn't make sense. Oh. I'm gonna chug this wine so that I'll be drunk enough to perform because I am not feeling well. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I had to check the levels again. Stupid friggin' discord once you update that's it it's just like yeah See? i'm just gonna throw all these settings out it's great it's great fun yeah that's why i didn't up uh, i just didn't upset i didn't update i'll have to do that next sunday yeah <laughs> so, well, so i open wonderful. open discord once a week <laughs> yeah that's literally all you do nowadays i know i feel bad hello my tendo best friend of the show good evening family uh, Yay! Hello. good to see you Oh, yes, we're a bit early. Are we Slightly. early now? Are we on time no, we're now? on time. Okay, but it's no, going to be a quickie. We're ready to actually start. We're having so a quickie a... tonight because Kylie is not feeling so well. <laughs> not unwell oh. enough to not drink. Nope, never unwell enough to not drink. Do you, it would be the apocalypse. No, I'd drink an apocalypse. I'd go sit at the a pub and wait it out. <laughs> yeah. Go to the Winchester. Have a cold Winchester. pint and wait for all this to blow over. Yep, exactly. How's that for a slice of fried gold? I love that. <laughs> uh, uh, there, there I was hoping you'd finish that off by going, yeah, boy. I probably should have. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mike says a quickie with Kylie. This sounds ominous. That's what you should call this episode, quickie with Kylie. I mean, it would do well in the algorithm, let's be honest. I don't know. My poop smells like blueberries didn't do so well. Uh, <laughs> Not particularly. I'm well, at least on fast. YouTube. I didn't, I didn't check our, our uh, Spotify stuff. Oh, looky there. Danker TV. Nice. Nice. Change nice. complete. I decided to incorporate my YouTube channel into the name. Yes. Uh, good point. Mike says, when is anything ever quick with Kylie? Literally nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, uh, your episode. 
with Mike was not. It was over an hour, wasn't it? It's about the same as everyone yeah. else's. Yeah, but that's because yeah. he, he had to cut me off. He's like, all right, Kylie. <laughs> I know. I could have carried on as well, but he cut me off too. I know, but see, that actually, uh, Mike had a really good idea that I have not talked to Pete about, and I need to. We should do a community night and do something like, you know, I, I say we need do. To. I say Doom. That's what I say, because, you know, I'm biased. But we could do a Mogus. We could do anything like we used to. Oh, that reminds me. I need to I need to get on Among Us tomorrow. I need to get on Among Us oh, tomorrow. Yeah. No, because to incorporate the um uh re the upcoming release of a certain collection, they're adding a Miles Edgeworth skin. Oh. So I need to get on and claim that for free. Ah, okay. All right. Um, Pete, we're gonna need to start this. I'm sorry. I know. I'm just about to. No, so. I am just. Right. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm dying. Right. Probably literally right. too. Thought I'd open my drink before I started the recording. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Mike says, right. "Could you share a link, Thanker, maybe on the Discord? I shall give you a quick sub on." YouTube. I do need to do the same as well. Please I do, do. as well. I, wait, I think I do. <laughs> I think I'm already subbed to Thanker. It doesn't matter anyway. But I think anyway, let's. Uh, to me, I think. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this. Right. Yeah. Let's go. So, three, two, one. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Rapper Reviews Radio, episode 210. Have, Jesus Christ. I've got a black fly in my Chardonnay. That's like not even a joke or a reference to uh, any song um, that may have occurred in the 90s. There is a little Hasn't black he... fly. I did wonder why you were looking into your mug as you started. I'm like, what? I was looking into my future. Uh I'm I'm a black fly in the Chardonnay. It's my future. Uh, <laughs> Mike says, "Oh wow, that was less than lethargic." I do. Okay, I probably should do our intros and then we'll do our thing, our normal yeah. thing that we do. I am your co-host Kai Wild, who doesn't seem very wild right now, but it's because she's not feeling good. That's okay. And I'm joined by my ever-present co-host Pete Beckett. Hello, I'm bringing the energy today, clearly. <laughs> That's a worrying sign. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying. Kylie Wilde has become dummy down. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this kind of show today. That's what kind of show we're doing, but also I'm drinking wine, which will help everyone in about five minutes. Um, But... Yes, so I am going to ask Pete how his week is going to be, or was. <laughs> how his week is going to be? I, I can't predict the future. <laughs> how his week was, but I do want to give a fair warning to our poor, poor, poor listeners out there. And are absolutely, I am devastated for our watchers because I look like poo on the bottom of a shoe right now. But. No, I am not naming the episode that. No. <laughs> um. I I might have and please tell me if I'm I'm blasting anyone out if that's what she said. Uh did she? She might not have said that. Um but yes, so I'm a celiac. We all know this. It's not a secret. And I think I've gotten hold of some wheat cuz I am very very not good. I am holding it together for this show cuz the show must go on and I love 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 our people so much. Uh but yeah, I've I was just big. All right, Pete. How's your week been? Uh, super incredibly busy with work. It's been ridiculous, to be honest. Aww. So, um, yeah, I've been really tired this week. But, uh, well, still means I can get some games in, which is always <laughs> quite nice. And I've got a lot to talk about this week. All right. So I'll, let me skirt over the ones that I've been playing quite, that I talked about last week. Street Fighter Six played a couple of games. Yeah. Didn't really play much of it this week, but the show still goes on, let's say. Uh, anyway. So, uh, that was only because of plans changed. Uh, Rachel was supposed to be out for the evening, and right. then she did not go out for the evening, so I cut into my game in Downwood Street Fighter, which is kind of sucky. Right. Um, doesn't matter. So, uh, before that, actually, I did get a few games in on an old classic from, um, uh, from a collection, a Capcom collection, known as Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. Oh, right. That sounds amazing. So it is a chibi version of Street Fighter. Uh, oh, it was originally released okay. back in like the um, yes. the Dreamcast and, and yeah. PS2 era. Um, 
basically if you played Gem Fighter or uh, Puzzle Fighter, sorry, yeah, play Puzzle, Puzzle Fighter, Fighter. You'll you'll know the the bare bones of it. It's a two D fighter, but you have gems that you can pick up to make your special moves more powerful. Uh, try to find games online. It looks like nobody plays that game online, oh. which is really unfortunate. So I just played the arcade ladder, got quite from, quite far through it until I got absolutely my butt handed to me by Tessa. Great. Wonderful. Still fun. Absolutely love that game. Always have done. Um, carrying on, I... Well, uh, at the beginning of the week, the COD closed beta was still going oh, on, yes. so I played a few more games of that. Then it stopped for 48 hours, and now the open beta is currently in progress. So, uh, got a few games in with the squad last night, actually, apart from one person. Uh, but... So I've now seen how the party system works, which is exactly like everything else is in COD has been, you know, quite easy. Yeah. You know, uh, until one person, for some reason, doesn't have everything downloaded, so they keep backing out of games and then coming back in, and it's quite annoying. But yeah, that would be uh, once, he, once he got it fixed, um, got a few decent games in, uh, this shows the level to which that I've been playing the game. I'm currently 23 out of 30 in the beta. Holy crap! Very I've good. been playing it a lot. Yeah, you have. And, oh, well, to be fair, it. XP is quite easy to come by if you win games, and yeah. obviously if you complete daily challenges. I haven't always completed them, but last night I completed all three, so I got extra XP for doing so. Nice. Um, yeah, still really fun. Still really enjoy it. Uh, definitely are going to be picking this up on Game Pass, not giving Activision my money, so I'll give them, you know, a download through that. Yeah. Which is fine. So... Uh, that comes out in October, so not long to wait. They should balance the game a little bit more because there's some things that are stupidly overpowered already. But anyway, let's talk about the main thing that I've been doing this week. And I've only played it for about three hours so far because my copy came a bit late. What? So apolog I will explain it to the people listening, but I will show those watching. Over at certain... TV forward slash rapid reviews. I, I have been playing... Astrobot. Oh yeah. For PS5. Nice. So this game came out on Friday. Uh, for those who don't know anything about the Astrobot series, it is a 3D platformer on PlayStation. Wow. Uh, they had the original game on PS4, which was Astrobot Rescue Mission, which is a VR-only title. Most people will be more familiar with Astro's Playroom, which was a yes. packing game for the PS5. Uh, and... This is actually a sequel to Astro's Playroom. They had it in the, the PSVR, because that's what I played on PSVR, and then nearly puked my guts up. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, anyone who's played Astro's Playroom and Astrobot Rescue Mission will basically know how this plays. It's a 3D platformer, um, and, yeah, it's basically Sony's answer to um, 3D Mario. And Definitely. Uh, what do I think about the game? Well freaking game of the year so far at the moment oh well you're mirroring what what nana's saying in chat well because it is it's a fantastic game it is incredibly wow. tight very intricate the levels are incredibly well designed um it one of the really nice things that it does is it throws a new mechanic at you basically every single level so it might give oh, you a wow, different like power that. up to you yeah. so uh boxing gloves or a suction pack or um a dog so the dog gives you like a rocket boost, which Aww. is kind of cool. Um, like um, also, it's more of a collector font, so you have to go around collecting uh, bots that have been um, dotted around the map, and there's yeah. 300 in total. Wow. Uh, I've completed up to two uh, two full worlds at the moment, and I've com I've got about 80 80 bots. So not too much, uh, with there being 300, there's still some that I've missed, there's a load of puzzle pieces, so there's a lot to collect in this game, so basically look at it like the moons from Mario Odyssey, they're going to always yeah. find something to collect. There is something really nice about this, actually. The, okay. um, so you have an end boss uh, at the end of each world, it's pretty much given to you when you go onto the world map who it's going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, once you complete that, you actually have an additional planet to go to uh -huh. that is basically an homage to a PlayStation title. So you get to play an entire level right. as a particular character or a particular franchise. 
and you're collecting bots and characters from said franchise. Okay. I am not giving any of them away because I've only done two of them so far. But let's just say that the first one is a title that is near and dear to my heart. Right. And it is the first acknowledgement that Sony have made to this title in many, many years. Time crime. <laughs> no. <laughs> like I said, I'm not giving it away, but okay. let's just say it's one I'm very fond of. I'm very fond of. And the fact that you've actually got a full level with this particular series playing exactly like this series right. is just unfrickin' real. That's what I meant. I, yeah. uh, and it's, <laughs> it, it, it is not time splitters, but I, like I said, I want to, I don't want to give it away. The game is so fresh out that I actually don't yeah. want to ruin the surprise for anyone. But I think that's, that's, yeah. Uh, Decent. There That's aren't many occasions where it will bring a, a tear of joy to my, my cold, dead heart, but it did. It did. Oh, Danker says, yes, I believe I know what he's talking about. Yeah, they did go obscure with some of them. Ooh. Yeah. I'm uh, I think I think the second one most people know about, it kind of was in the promo material, but I'm still not going to give it away. But that second, that second level is actually really, really fun as well. Very so. cool. But yeah, um, that is definitely on my game of the year so far. It's actually one of uh, Sony's only first-party titles this year. One of very few, in fact. And one of very few that I actually wanted to play. But it is exceeding all expectations. Graphically, it is superb. It runs at 4K60. Right. It is... I just don't know how they make it look this good. It's just... It just shows that you can easily do it when you put the right resource and time into doing so. Well, I mean, it's not exactly a, a, an intensive game like a shooter or something, but still. I haven't seen any drops, no no issues here and there. Um, I I mean, I'm playing it on a 1440p monitor, but it is capable of going 4K, obviously. Right. And it is one that actually does look like it pushes the PS uh, PS5 to um to its limits. Surprisingly. That's very good. Um, so, we, we said that last week. There isn't a game, but it is. Excellent. I, I yeah. like... Yeah. Total contender for game of the year. Well, I like what Mike says, which is, as a Nintendo fan, I'm glad to see PlayStation fans getting a game that they can really get behind that can cater to all ages. I have to agree. I have to agree. Um, yeah, it's definitely a game that does cater to all ages. It's... You know, there are going to be some pretty deep cuts for some of the characters that you collect. Like, the bots are themed after other characters throughout PlayStation's history. Right. So, some are, some are going to be recognisable to the newer fans, but some are going to be a lot more recognisable to the classics. That's excellent. So, pretty cool. Very good. So, well, yeah, that's, that's me for this week. Cody, how's your week been? Well, my week... Her, 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 oh, first of all, it's been exhausting. <laughs> not gonna lie about that but so i did a little switcheroo over on my channel and we oh decided... yes i need to hear about this well on monday we played how to for boyfriends that what you want to hear about p how to for, how to for boyfriends? uh no i want to hear about something something else i uh, uh hitman because that came up too uh no i'm kidding uh yeah so first day uh first monday we um we played how to for boyfriend because we're going we're going to play to the, this ending and then we'll move on uh, so one more day of it. Um, it's a crazy game. Like I said, it's a Devolver digital game. Did not know that. I mean, they produced it or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's cray cray, and it's just that cray cray. Just come watch. It's fun. Chat so how far it. how far through are you? We got the first ending, which was a bad ending. <laughs> just a very oh. bad ending. So now we're trying for at least one of the good endings, and then once we get that ending, and I think I'm right there. Uh, you know, we'll move on, but I do want to get at least one good ending. So we're dating this big giant pigeon. He's an aristocrat. <sighs> and yes, for our lovely listeners and watchers out there, I'm dating a pigeon. It is a pigeon dating game. It's a pigeon, dating simulator. Pigeon dating sim. Uh, Dagger said yes, and I managed to miss it by losing track of time. That is okay. Uh, for Wednesday, I mean, which is what we are going to talk about. Yep. That means Wednesday, which is usually my weird games, we decided would be our FPS game. And I played a new it, game. 
Yeah, it wasn't exactly a weird Wednesday, was it? Not for me. Because I don't think Star Wars is weird at all. I played Star Wars Outlaws. Now. Right, I'm going to sit back and listen to this because I've okay. got no questions. I just want to hear what you say. Okay, now. You know, I do try to be fair-minded. I try to be, you know, um, open-minded, fair-minded, all that kind of stuff. Full caveat, I do love Star Wars. Unlike, you know, Pete's not a big fan of the new stuff. I don't love all the new stuff, don't get me wrong, but I love the Star Wars universe. <laughs> Cinematic universe. Um, so, but this is also an Ubisoft game. Ubisoft is hit or miss, we know this. So right off the bat, I made a huge mistake. Huge. Huge mistake. Uh, I need to reinstall my SSD. So I installed Star Wars Outlaws on my hard drive. Oh, God. Shouldn't be a problem. Yes, it will take longer to load. That's great. But shouldn't be a problem. Oh, dear. Right off the bat... A warning sign. I think it was even in red text from Ubisoft. You have installed this game on a mechanical hard drive. We recommend you install this on an SSD. When a game says that, that's not good. <laughs> that's not. So a basically, good sign. it's gonna. So essentially, it's gonna load between every single house, like you know, Oblivion used to. That, and it also said it would have glitches, graphical glitches, and some other things. And I'm going, no, that's, that's, that shouldn't happen. That should, long loading times, yes, that's, that's the whole appeal of SSD. But all the other stuff, oh, Ubisoft. <laughs> no, I mean, bearing so, in mind, they did, so I don't know, this isn't on the news story, I just wanted to bring this up in uh -huh. case you didn't know. Probably didn't um know. Those who had the early access to the game got uh -huh. to play through, but then was told that they needed to update the game right. because there was a game-breaking bug that meant they wouldn't be able to complete it, but the bug meant that they had to restart the entire game. Okay, see? Okay. Two seconds. Stanker says, oh yeah, the need for SSDs are becoming more must-needed than a suggestion. Exactly, and they need to go ahead and start saying that first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Um, cause, cause Stanker's right. That's exactly what we're heading for. Um, and then, yeah, the change in focus certainly has put some people off the game style. Yeah. So doing that kind of stuff, which Ubisoft has pulled before, that ain't cool, man. That's not cool. But again, I'm, over it's, it's very, that, now that is very reminiscent of, uh, Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. Um, because it did the same thing. Luckily, I don't think we were early access. No, I think we I just... don't think you were, no. No, I think we just played it, like, the day it came out. Uh, yeah, that's right, because he played it on his channel, and then we ended up playing it together. Yes, 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 yes. But that's... Suicide Squad pulled that, too, which is not Ubisoft product. I'm just saying that that has happened before. Um, so, now we get into the gameplay. First of all, I want to say it is a beautiful game, but to be fair, Ubisoft makes beautiful games. Uh, the sound design is so on point, like so on point. I, I have these spatial haptic feedback headphones, mm -hmm. the, some kind of Razer special. I don't know what they're called because I just don't care. I mean, Razer do some <laughs> nice headsets to be fair when it comes yeah. to the audio side, oh, the but these audio are like, side rather than. Yeah, but these are like top of the top. Plus they have that haptic feedback and, you know push a button and everything. Mm. I couldn't use the haptic feedback because the voices were too bassy so that they were starting to buzz my ear and it was like, oh, Oof, that's, yeah. no, nah, that's too much. Um, but sound design, so on point. Music is just freaking amazing. Uh, set design, absolutely beautiful. Game design, absolutely beautiful. Gameplay, okay, here's where we go. It is an Ubisoft game. There is no denying that. It looked like at points, and, and I think Nana was in the in the chat at the time. There were points where it looked like a reskinned uh, Assassin's Creed. Of course. Like just a hundred percent. What loads of loads of quest markers and stuff like that all over the markers, mini map. But but also movement. Uh, you know, like hanging from the balcony, oh, balustrades, yeah. hanging and stuff ledges like that. and stuff. Yeah, like that. all that dropping down. 
going up ledges. It, it was, I think it was reused animation. I hate to say it, but I think it was. Um, I mean, it's quite normal for a lot of companies to reuse animations. Like, but it seems a bit strange when you've got a game that is completely different to one another, yeah. but they're reusing animations. Uh, yeah, Nana says, yeah, it really did look like an AC game at one point. It did. It absolutely did. Maybe, now, maybe it was supposed to be. That's the thing. You never know with Ubisoft. Now, here's the thing. I am enjoying this game very much. I'm going to say that. So know that I am enjoying this game so far. Um, I haven't gotten as far as Brent has got. Brent's already like on tattooing and stuff, which I cannot okay. wait for that. I'm not that far. Um, <laughs> I'm going to admit this because I don't feel bad about this. There was a part where I got completely lost. I could not solve the 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 objective. I had to have chat. I even looked it up on my own and still couldn't solve it. I had to have chat look it up. And between Brent and Nana, we figured it out. Because Brent couldn't okay. even remember it. Um, I don't like that. Now, I mean, I do. we know I'm going to struggle. Anything that has to do with directions or spatial awareness, I don't have it. <laughs> um. But this was, um, at Nana says, regarding uh, Assassin's Creed, it's weird, too, because this was an Ubisoft massive, not the AC teams. Exactly. That's what, it's weird. It's reused. I, I really think they're reusing animation. I mean, it's, but, it, it's, it could also be that they've reused some animations from the Division as well. True. Because they, uh, true Ubisoft that. massive were the Division team. Yeah. I do like Division. That's true. Um, but, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I got complete... It was not intuitive whatsoever. Uh, I do struggle, like I said, with anything having to do with direction or spatial awareness. That's a me thing. That's a Kylie thing. But this had no intuitive... Like, I could not figure out. And there's this whole extra part that I have to figure out, which is you have a pet called Nyx. Mm -hmm. By the way, who only squeaks and squawks but is voiced, quote-unquote, by D. Ba Bradley Baker, who's like an actual... What? Yeah. An actual, very much talented voice artist who's been in, like, all hey. of our favorite games. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Um, but that's not my point. The point is, it has... Nyx has this whole separate sub-menu of things that it does. Okay. And you have to incorporate that, and there's not really a tutorial for that. It just says, do this. And then I was using a controller. The controller would not work on this particular one thing. I had to switch over and use the daggum keyboard, because obviously I'm playing on PC. Um, and I could see, oh, and then I had to end the stream because I went into a door and fell through the floor all the way through the map. Amazing. Yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Decker said. So, so, the, so the typical old jank then that you would get with an U a Ubisoft game. Yeah. Uh, Decker says, and I've been informed I'm in the game. <laughs> donkey. Da donkey. Da dank. I can't say the dadgum German word for thank you. Donke. Da danke. Yeah. But isn't it? Don't you call it donke? Like donke Shane? Oh, I can't say I ha I've heard that. I'm not good. Where's Sin Where's Sincho and 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 CD? Um, yeah, we need CD right now. Yeah, and uh, they and then Danger says lol, and then Danger says oh dear. Um, yeah, so I like the game. I this is my most anticipated game of this year. Mhm. Mm I don't think it, you know before I said I said it was game of the year material suspected suspiciously i thought it would be game of the year yeah i don't think it's gonna be game of the year for me or for anyone but we'll Fair see. Enough. I, mean, I will finish it out i mean a lot of the reviews that i read for it or heard of such as like skill up yeah. had said that there's there's a lot of flaws in it but there's clearly a good game to be uh -huh. had in there it's just yeah you know it it's a little bit it can be a little bit of a mess at times i'm really really and i hate to say this but i'm really feeling a parallel to suicide squad now suicide squad you really couldn't do solo you you could try to do solo i tried it was horrible yeah um 
Whereas I do think you can do this game solo so far. Yeah, because there's no multiplayer to it anyway. As yeah, far but as I, I don't think tell. that's going to stay that way because they've already got a battle pass. They've already got, you know, all kinds yeah, of but stuff the, Ubi up. Look, Ubisoft do this quite frequently. They have battle passes and season passes stuff for true. Um, for single player games. So true, true, it's true. not a surprise. Um, but I'm a bit worried, trepidatious, hesitant that it is going to go the direction of Suicide Squad, as in mm -hmm. hyped game, good game underneath, and then they just... Just falls off. Yeah. Um, so that right there is how I'm feeling about that one. Uh, so that means that my next anticipated game of the year is uh, Assassin's Creed... Is it Mirage? Is that what it's called? Uh, Shadows. Shadows. My poor brain. Another Ubisoft game. Yeah. Which is so funny to me, because all of my game of the years, except for one... Is Ubisoft. Um, but anyway, and then I finished out the week with, I played, last week was great on. What was it this week? Oh, well, two things, actually. What did I play with my sister? I forgot what I played was the scary game. <laughs> Let me look right quick. Excellent. This is going to make for great. Oh, no, I remember now. I played Slay the Princess. Now, Slay the Princess caught my eye several, several, several times. Empty water bottle. Woo. Um, every time I went on Steam, it was recommended. It had a very sketchy look. It was kind of reminiscent of Junji Ito stuff, but not quite. It was almost a little too amateurish at first. But something mm -hmm. kept drawing me back to it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to bite the bullet and do it. Um, just to get it off my freaking brain and off my recommended it turned out to be freaking amazing it is a kind of stanley parable but uh way more horror themed okay holy crap now that i recommend uh there is a free demo on steam right now but it is coming to consoles uh it, it's an early access i think but there's more more stuff coming it's good. It's good. It's a nice little psychological, like, thought exercise, which I'm all about. I freaking love thought exercises. I love psychological horror. I love psychological anything. As I said to my lovely, lovely chat, I am on my seventh rewatch of Hannibal, the TV show. Uh, seventh or eighth, I can't remember. I lose count. Because I just love psychological stuff. But then, I decided to try my best. To be a cozy streamer, Pete. Oh, for God's sakes. I tried it on Saturday. And I was like, I'm going to do... A ho I even tagged it wholesome. Cozy. Yeah. How long do you think that lasted? I played... Ten a minutes. Oh. You're very generous. I played a game called Furnish Master. Now, I thought it had the look... Furnish Master. Furnish Master. It looked very similar to Unpacking, which I love. Or unpacked, or whatever it's called. Um, unpacking. Is it unpacking? Okay, I love unpacking. Yeah, I'm sure it is. That was so much fun. Uh, had a really sweet story. Um, a gamer, like, thousand gamers scored it so easily over on the Xbox. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll do this. Well, first of all, it also wouldn't load on the hard drive. So then I put it on the SSD, still wouldn't load. And then I had to load it with DX11, which is insane. Ugh. That is insane, and it was Unreal, Un at literally, as in it was the Unreal Engine. Um, that is an underrated joke, by the way. It, it really was. I'm so glad that you got <laughs> it. Uh, but uh, I started it. It 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 has echoes of uh, unpacking, but it also seems to be trying to do too many things at once, which is yeah, like me. Um, but it was also very like sim like, uh, as in when you set the furniture up for the sims and stuff like that. So I got bored pretty fast, as you can figure out. I didn't keep it wholesome. Mm -hmm. I tried to. I really did. Um, Your and, idea of wholesome is shooting someone in the face. Well, see, you're not wrong, Pete. You're not wrong. So Hitman. Well, first I did try to do this game, Furnish Master, and then I found out you could put the furniture outside of the borders. Mm -hmm. Borderlands. Uh so then I just stacked all the furniture up 
Amanda says she really did try. I did. I did. I had a wonderful full chat, and they were amazing. And I tried to be wholesome. I tried not to cuss. I tried not to make sex jokes. I tried to not Gosh. shoot things. And That's a I, disappointment. No, Pete, it lasted about 15 minutes. I found out I could stack all this stuff up on top of each other, and I did that. But then I got bored of that. Then I tried to do a dom They had little mini games in there. But you mm -hmm. see, it was just doing too much. And then, you know what? I gave up, and I played Hitman. Of course. I love Hitman. I do. I uh, Hitman's game of the year. Um, <laughs> and for whatever reason, Hitman seems to do really well on my YouTube channel. Please go follow me over on YouTube. It's Kai Wild. I need the followers. I need followers everywhere. Please, please follow me. Um, anyway. Yes. So back to the old Hitman then. And uh, still enjoying yeah. that, of course. Yes, I'm just going to always. That's my fallback. That's um, that's my game. That's my game. That's my jam. Uh, it used to be Halo. It is now Hitman. Oh, they both start with H's. That's cool. Uh, anyway, so that was my week in game. Pete, and I am so nauseous right now. But, oh, I know. I mean, so much for that quick, quick know, hit because you've done nearly twenty minutes on the games. I know. But fair enough. You but needed to talk about Star Wars Outlaws. I did. I did. It was a big game. It's a new game. Uh, it it might come up again. When we yeah. talk about it, might. Don't worry, I'm sure Astrobot is also going to come up again I, next yeah, week too. Yeah, I think so. that's going to oh. be yeah. But so, yeah. anyway, Pete, take take us on with the show, the new stories, yay! Yeah, let's talk about new stories, shall we? So yeah. I thought we'd start off with a nice little uh, let's laugh at something, shall we? Mm, uh -huh. Let's go light I because love uh, Warner Brothers have released. The first teaser trailer for the Minecraft movie. Oh, that's why that was trending. Okay. okay. Did you not watch it? I didn't. Because it's... Oh, this would have been funnier if you would have seen it. It's, it's Minecraft. <laughs> Warner Brothers and Legendary released the first trailer for li live action Minecraft. Uh, yes, is that... Ooh, yeah, I'm getting, like on, get, getting to it, getting to it. So it's releasing April uh, April 2nd internationally, uh, April 4th in the US. Right, okay. Um, not, so it's, and it's, uh, it's directed by Jared Hess, who directed Napoleon Dynamite and Natural Libre. Right. I mean, those are two films that have done really freaking well, haven't they? Not. Uh, not, yes. Uh, those have aged horrendously bad. Uh, anyway, so stars Jack Black, Jason Momoa, uh, Emma Black. Myers, uh, Daniel Brook, Danielle Brooks, and uh, Stephen Eugene Hansen, among others. So I'll read the official synopsis. Welcome to the world of Minecraft, where where creativity doesn't just help you craft. It essentially it's essential to one survival. Four misfits: Garrett, the garbage man, Garreton, who's played by Momoa; Henry, who's played by Hansen; Natalie, who's played by Myers; and Dawn Brooks find themselves struggling with ordinary problems when they are suddenly pulled through a mysterious portal into the uh, overworld. Oh, okay. A bizarre, cubic wonderland that thrives on the imagination. To get back home, they'll have to master this world and to protect it from evil things like pigments and zombies and, in, and embarking on a magical quest of an unexpected expert crafter, Steve, who is played by okay. Jack Black. Glad to know that he's called Steve. Yeah. Uh, together, their adventure will challenge the all five to be bold and to reconnect with the qualities that make each of them uniquely creative. The very skills that they'll need to thrive, uh, they'll need to thrive back into the real world. Okay. okay. So, there's a reason why this was trending. Okay. One, because it's Minecraft, and two, because that Nana actually really put it put it appropriately, and I'm just gonna. Quote it verbatim. He says that shit looks like ass. That poop looks like butt. No, I'm saying it. I I can't <laughs> censor it. I don't care. That shit looked like ass because it, yes. it it looks like complete trash. It was awful. Like talk about a studio that has actually no idea what to do with a live action movie. Right. Like, and it just feels like it's just capitalizing on on a name more than anything. Kind of like Borderlands. Uh, would it, Pete, would it be beneficial to our listeners if we played it, with like shared your screen and played it? 
I don't know who I can, would be. I can try. Uh, so bear with. I will I'll see if talk. I can check. Look at me. I'm talking, people. Don't you love this? This is your do 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 Pete getting up a trailer music. Oh, that's weird. It made our windows change. Come watch us. Of as course it would. TV forward slash rap review. Oh, here we go. Can you can, can you hear the the I audio? I can hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll be quiet no, now. I meant can the can the um because I can't see the chat now. Can you just make? Okay. Um, I'll watch so chat. Those, so can you? If I was to play it, could you hear it? Since I can hear it, I think chat can hear it. I now can't. Yeah, there we go. Uh, just gonna change the volume a little bit because it was bloody loud. Right. Uh, so. I have funny. so many things to say. <laughs> First off, no. <laughs> How about no, Scott? Um, why? <laughs> why would Steve, aka who's just Jack Black? I mean, just Jack Black being Jack Black. Steve doesn't yep. have a beard. Why? No, would... he's just he couldn't be asked to cut the beard. <laughs> Why would Steve be like a human? I'm sure that is comes out in the show in the storyline. Why is Jason Momoa wearing a terrible wig? It's because well, I don't he's so know. Handsome. It's just utterly awful. It's because he's too handsome, and they need to. I think handsome. it might that but might actually be the case. You can't make Jason Momoa be less handsome. Um, <laughs> also, Jason Momoa. This is not a joke. Jason Momoa and Jack Black are in a band together. That's not a joke. Um, oh, I know that. Yeah, but um. Well, it's probably going to be his only band now hey. because Tenacious D are gone. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, dear. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Catch our music show later. Uh, <laughs> Rapid Reviews music show. Uh, but uh, Dagger says, yeah, they couldn't even light the characters right. Exactly. Um, it's as if they were on a sound stage. Yep. That's what I'm getting Green to. Green screen the whole time. Yeah. Nana says, yeah, the reaction was so good. <laughs> but, okay. I have a love-hate relationship with, with Minecraft. So I will say that I, I would want the movie to do well. That's not a movie for Minecraft fans. No, that's just a movie for... I don't know what that was. No, I don't know who that's for. I don't know who that's for. Grandmas that are going to buy the DVD later for their their grandkids and be like, Oh, they love the Minecraft. You love my grandma impersonation? Mm. I'll get them this DVD. I love the Minecraft. Um, But... <laughs> I don't know what grandma sound like. I don't have one. Um, but, um, I am perplexed by all of that. Why would they make it? Minecraft's all about like the eight bit cubes. No, they should have made it animated. It should have been that yeah. way. It's just utterly ridiculous. Yeah, fine. Have Jack Black playing Steve yeah, in voice fine. only, but not lot looking no. like just playing Jack Black. Fine. It's just ridiculous, honestly. It's I, just stupid. I this I'm gonna reiterate what Nana said. That poop looks like butt. Uh no, that shit look like ass. I don't like that butt. It looked like poop. And I will not I don't care, that. I'm saying it. I I'm just saying it as it was. 
Yeah. Because that has summed it up absolutely perfectly. And I'm pretty sure the internet did the exact same thing too. I, I will not be watching that. I just won't. Um the uh the memes have been spectacular from oh, what I I've seen the of memes. these. I'll have um uh the old classic Simpsons <laughs> one is um oh saying about Jack Black has ruined one franchise is like, no, actually I've ruined two. Oh goodness. What was the other <laughs> one? Borderlands. Yeah, he's playing. He played Clark Clap Trap, Trap, didn't he? Yeah, and he's okay. <laughs> uh, Tanker says, "I actually want to reload the Telltale games now. They did better." See, I'm gonna agree with Tanker. Which, if you know me at all, and you don't, I don't like Telltale games. No, you don't. Cancel me! Everyone's gonna come for me every time I say that. I'm so glad I'm not no, really we... officially on Twitter anymore because I used to be. Yeah. I'm still on well. Twitter, but it's just, it's just, I just link scenes, uh, clips. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> nah, it says Borderlands was just doomed from the start. I mean, I wanted it to do well. I mean, bearing in mind that Randy Pitchford took pictures with um but... Kevin Hart on set, and Kevin Hart looked clearly very uninterested. Well, but also the thing is this, and I said this when I streamed it. Um, yeah, exactly. I thought the Batman games were all right. Yeah, there, we're okay. There are some Telltale games that I'm actually okay with. There, there are. Tales like... from the Borderlands is good. I haven't played that one, believe it or not. You uh, should. Mm, I, I'm worried it'll you ruin because you know I love Borderlands. I did like their Back to the Future. I like that very much. Believe it or not, and people will disagree with me. I like their Jurassic Park one. I'm sorry, I thought they did really well on that. That's just me. Um, but I forgot what we were talking about. Borderlands. Oh. I streamed it not too long ago because borderlands 2 is one of my definite top i would say top five i might be being generous definitely top 10 but i think it might be my top five uh borderlands 2 is amazing and i started it up actually did i start borderlands or borderlands 2? i think i was playing borderlands 2 because that's my favorite um they gift wrapped borderlands 2 as a movie like you didn't have to do anything. They had the music on point. They had the car- yeah, mm-hmm. Borderlands too, because that's got Handsome Jack. Oh, I love Handsome Jack. Handsome Jack should have been Ryan Reynolds. I um, didn't even put Handsome Jack in the movie. Yeah, see, and that's when I heard that originally. That's what turned me off. Um, but Borderlands Two is a hundred percent a gift wrapped. Have a movie. There you go. You don't have to do anything except get Ryan Reynolds as Handsome Jack. You can get some unknowns, all the unknowns, and you know what? You can even do Jack Black as Claptrap. That's fine. I don't know why you would. No, but hey, don't do because it. it's terrible. Well, it's just Jack Black being Jack Black, I know, and, and that's it. I'm starting to get get to the point where I don't even think Jack Black's that good of an actor anymore. Well, he's he's not a good actor. He's just himself. But he's even himself, he, and like, I do the, the only him. time. The only time he actually feels like he ever put some effort in in the last ten years huh. was Bowser, and that's probably because he actually gives a crap about Bowser. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you, believe it or not. Um, I do love Jack I mean, Black, but his, he's phoned in everything the last few years. I mean, when when he puts more effort in than Seth Rogen, that's a worry. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, but anyway, all of that to say, I, I just did a whole diatribe, and I'm very ill, and I'm still doing it. Um, I think that Minecraft looks like poop from a butt. Yes. Anyway, talking about poop from a butt. That's uh, to be our favorite squad. subject. Oh, Suicide Squad. Yeah. The game Sorry. The movie. Uh, Rocksteady is the latest studio to be oh, hit gosh. with layoffs. Okay. I say this every time, but I want it to be reiterated 5,000 times. Yes, Suicide Squad has a special place in my heart. But it is purely because of the company I was with when I was yep. playing it. So, I can't say cool. that the game is good. So, I'm just saying Let's that. Let's go on. Yes. So, sources have told Eurogamer that numerous uh, employees have been made redundant over the past month, with its QA department more than halved, from 33 to 15 jobs, oh, as well crap. as non-QA job losses too. So, according to the source, the job losses are directly linked to the release of Suicide, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. With its poor sales specifically <laughs> mentioned as the reason for what it's described as restructuring. It was bad. 
guys, I'm not gonna lie, it was bad. Mm, it's no good. Not good. Anyway, the report also cites the one employee who mentioned on social media that they had been informed that they were being made redundant despite being in the middle of paternity leave. Oh, wow. Oh, that's kind of crap. That is very crap. Uh, and yeah. then, okay, this one we knew was coming. Bad game, in bad game industry or not, because that game bombed hard. It did. Yeah, the, the games industry hasn't been great recently, but that, if a game bombs, then you're going to sort of half expect, especially with the amount of money that they spent on making that game and development yeah. time. I did say this already, didn't I, once it released? I said there's going to be job losses. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, while a number of, uh, of the layoffs are said to be junior staff, they're also said to include some developers who've been at Rockstar, oh, Rocksteady, or... Oof. That's a ah, uh, yeah. slip of the tongue there. Uh, more than five years. Uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was the uh, company's biggest recent video game release, but it was met with both mixed reviews and failed to achieve a consistent player base. Yeah. The game has been played by Warner Brothers Discovery as one of the key reasons for the drop in gaming revenue. Uh, I don't wow. think we need to go on any further about this. No. Because it's sucky that people are losing their jobs again, but... Yeah. It's a cutthroat industry, unfortunately, people. I think that needs to be stated that you don't perform well, you don't keep your job, really. I mean, and also, I've said it a thousand times, I'll say it a thousand times more. What we were promised with Justice League was not what was delivered. They changed the game on us, and mm -hmm. it was bad. Like, literally, it became just a grind sesh, which... <laughs> We can make all the jokes. Oh, I love grind sessions. It's all about the grind. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's very funny. But really and truly, the only one who's ever been able to pull off a proper grind sesh that doesn't bore you. Now, Pete will disagree with this, and that's okay. Uh, it's for me, Destiny 2. Um, no, I'm not going to say that the grind fest wasn't boring. I it There was sprinklings of story in there that actually made it somewhat relatively exciting to those who were playing week on week. Yeah. It was just very difficult for new players and onboarding I, to actually catch with up with all of that. Yeah. So for someone like me who hadn't been involved in the Destiny lore for many years, yeah. it's so hard to try and play through everything, especially when they vaulted quite a lot of it oh, and you I couldn't did. get a I lot did. of the backstory. Yeah. So, But the general gate day-to-day -day gameplay is actually yeah. kind of fun. Like, it's what kept me going to Destiny constantly. Yeah. I did. And playing it with you and Kieran. Yeah, I did. So. I did love Destiny too. Mm. So yeah, I, I mean, it, it sucks, obviously. I don't I don't like seeing job losses, but no, like I said, not. it's it's obviously some, it's cause and effect of poor mismanagement from the top. And yeah, the people at the top should lose their jobs before anyone else. And, Oh, the developers yes. who poured their I heart, wished. yeah, I blood, sweat, wished. tears in. Yeah, but there's clearly some very bad mismanagement either from Warner Brothers or from the oh, higher up to Rocksteady that meant that this game was always doomed to fail. So, I mean, considering I'm a DC fan and I yeah. quite like, I, whilst I'm not the biggest Suicide Squad fan, I was quite excited about this because Rocksteady were a name that oh, had right. good pedigree. Yes. So, you know, if they would have made this a single player in the Arkhamverse, That's the thing. this would have been a much more interesting prospect to me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It had great graphics. It had, a, there was underneath it a decent game. But it lost out because they tried to make it a live service and it just didn't, it was so grindy. Like, I do remember the very last bit, I think it was at Rotterdam or maybe right before Rotterdam. And yeah, uh, Mags was like, do you want to play? We got Mrs. Freeze to get. And he was like, yeah, I want to, but I also don't, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> this is just grinding and we're just going to get another character because we got Joker, which was yeah. a weird character. It wasn't Joker. Any of us recognized. Um, mm. And it was like, I don't even know who Mrs. Freeze is because that's not, you know, it was Mr. Freeze, but as a female, it wasn't Mr. Freeze's wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, yeah. So it's if you just know a, that lore, it's like a multi. It's like a multiverse yeah. like, version. And it was like I don't know, uh, you know. And then we just really never made the decision. Yeah, it's it's, it's not Nora. But exactly that. Exactly. It was literally a female version of Mr. Freeze, and it was like, do we want this character? Yeah. I don't know. And it, anyway, yeah. Kind of dumb. Yeah. Exactly. Anyway, 
Um, so, let's talk about PlayStation, shall we? Okay. Because they're, they're due to celebrate their upcoming 30th anniversary in video what? games. That is insane. Yes. We're so, there old. has been a logo that has been uh, provided for the 30th anniversary. Uh, no way. And the image could contain a possible image of the unannounced PlayStation 5 Pro. Oh, right. Uh, well, as of, uh, over the last week, there have been leaks about a said PlayStation Pro with no oh. no outlet actually showing the actual pictures, yeah. but sketches of the picture of it, which has been quite funny. So last week, uh, uh, Dear Labs uh, user uh, Bill Bill Kun, uh, who has a lengthy track record for leaking upcoming games and right. hardware, shared alleged information on the new console. They said it would be announced very soon, with the official announcement set to be made during the first half of September. Right, okay. Well, they've got a week to go. So, uh, they also claim to have access to the packaging design for the PS5 Pro, but they couldn't share the copyright oh, images. Wow. Okay. They instead drew a sketch of the design. Interesting. Um, have you by any chance seen the sketch? I have not. I have not. Welcome to share screen moment again, then. <laughs> because... Please come watch us. Here is the sketch. I'm waiting. It, it's right there. It's not showing it. Oh, well, okay. Can you see it? Uh, no. Can the stream see it at least? No, let me see. Uh, oh, hold on. Two seconds. I think I actually have to click into it. I no, do I have do. to click into it. Yeah, you do. It. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay, now try it. Can you zoom in? I did. Okay, so it's just the same thing, but with the racing stripe? Am I understanding that? <laughs> I'm so glad you called it the, the racing stripe. <laughs> that's what it looks like. <laughs> no, because that's how everyone has been describing it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's been flipped, yeah. Uh, it is yeah. flipped, okay. Oh, lame. It's fine. Uh, can I flip this? Everyone, hold on to your butt. Flip, 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 reverse it. Uh, is it vertical? We're vertical, right? No, we're horizontal. Oh, oh! there we go. Okay, Flipped cool. It. Professional out with us. It. That's right. Yeah. Look, we're trying out sharing the screen for the first time today. All right. Share my screen. Um, but yes. yeah. Okay. That cool. is wild. Anyway. That is wild. Yeah. So. so Let's just call it PS5 Go Faster. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. But anyway, so that's the sketch that's been uh, been doing the rounds this week. Right, okay. So um, here is the PlayStation 30th anniversary um, oh, I image. See. So you can see it in the background. Right. Just here. Right. Sorry to those who are listening, but yeah, you can watch YouTube.com or Twitch.tv for slash reviews. Either one. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so based on the sketches, this is looking more and more likely that it's going to happen. So, yeah, I mean, how I feel about a PlayStation 5 Pro, what's the point? Yeah. I mean, the, the generation hasn't even started yet. I know, which we talked about so, before. Yeah, we did last week, so yeah. anyway. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen because yes, there's no need that. to share it anymore. So if we need to share again, then I will let you know. Can you so. get rid of that by any chance? I, did, I just did. Uh, close share. I stopped sharing oh, it's my screen. Me. So. I have to keep doing it. Yeah. Anyway. So, let, um, yeah, how do you feel about PlayStation 5 Pro or do you not care? I don't care. Um, because... Cool. Let's move on then. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to switch our names around, Pete. But yes, you All can right, talking. Cool. Awesome. Right, so let's talk about sag after shall we? Because um, the strike is going on, as we know. Oh, yes. Uh, with the video games, uh, cap motion capture artists and yes. voice artists. So sag after the labor union for the American actors, has a uh, secured its first agreement with a developer over the use of AI in performances. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I'm with you, so, Anna, because um, I'm like, there's an update. 
Okay, so we shall catch people up as a result because obviously it might be new or whatever. So the union started a strike on July 26th after it said it had failed to negotiate acceptable protections around the use of AI for its members. While the strike remains active, video game companies and their perform uh, performance production arms likely won't be able to hire unionized actors to perform motion capture or voice work. Uh, for uh, voiceover work for their games. However, Tencent owned studio. Oh my oh, god, why a Tencent on. owned studio yeah, the no. first to agree to this? This is Ugh. weird. Um, Lightspeed LA have become oh, the first gosh. developers to sign, to sign up to the union's interim um, interactive media agreement, which makes numerous promises, including protection for actors who don't want their voice to be used in AI performances. Oh. So, as reported by GamesIndustry.biz, Lightspeed's agreement means the, uh, the strike no longer affects it, and it can begin to hire performers represented by SAG-AFTRA for The Last Sentinel, its open-world game for which it has already signed up Troy Baker oh, as goodness. performance director. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. All right, so let's read the quote. Okay. Uh, so, Lightspeed LA helped. All, uh, always recognize the values, the irreplaceable role of talent, which injects creativity, innovation, and the human touch into video games. Uh, supporting our cast is the right thing to do, and there was never any hesitation to consider the performance uh, performer protections that anchored this agreement. That was stated by Steve Martin, who is the studio general manager, and not the actor Steve no. Martin. I would not think so. Yeah, so... Anyway, there's not really much to go, much else to go on for because it's just all talking about how this is a good. Uh, they're agreeing that they're happy with this, so great. Okay, well that's cool. It's weird that it's ten cent, but you know. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned that why it's ten cent the first ones that have agreed with this, but I mean yeah. at least a company has somewhat agreed to it because they we shouldn't be overly relying on AI anyway. But I'm I think gonna... if you. Well, especially when it comes to performance, we definitely Absolutely. should not be doing for that. But I'm going to do a tangent. Tangent time. Of course. Even though I'm like barely hanging on here, folks. I know, I can see it. I know, I'm dying. Just just hang on, because we've got so, one more story, but it's a doozy. It's a real doozy. Okay. Um, Like, for real, my joints are on fire, which means this is 100% celiac is what this is. Um, But... I watch a lot of YouTube shorts for obvious reasons. If you don't know, go follow my YouTube oh, account. Oh, God, those shorts are horrendous with the AI voice, aren't they? It's not even the AI voice, which, yes, the AI voice was the first thing that caught my attention. There is a YouTube channel who only... I think they started out thinking they could do this seriously, and now it's just turned into, like, uh, satire. Um, mm -hmm. It is an AI voice and video that is doing recipes and if you don't know i i used to be a professional cook um so recipes are you know my thing i can basically i can look at a photo of something and recreate it that's how much i've been involved in the industry i was watching a short today first i noticed the ai voice second i noticed that the recipe itself was not a thing that could exist in the world and they did keep calling it tortilla dough which was hilarious uh, as opposed to just a tortilla um, and the AI video that is clearly going along with this voice if you were to make this recipe on your own you would die of food poisoning brilliant and then I found out that there's an entire channel of this. I am not against technology. I love progressive technology. I do think AI has its place in a sort of scientific, mathematical, these are things that cannot be changed, you know, concepts. Scientific and mathematical concepts that can't be changed. Mm -hmm. um, I do not think that AI has a place in the artistic world. And yes, I am a strong believer that uh, food uh, creation is artistic. Um, fight me. <laughs> uh, I don't think it has, a, some people could argue there is food science. I agree there's food science, but food has such an interpretation, a, a, an artistic yep, interpretation. I, agree. I don't think AI has any business in anything that has 
artistic value. No, I'm mm. not going to say that. I'm not going to say no, that. No, I would, I would some not disagree, but I get I, where I, you're coming I am from. Gonna, I'm going to actually disagree with myself. I think it depends because there are – I've seen AI create some music that I think, yeah, that's okay because it's you know maybe an intro to something or uh, it's a background to a commercial, you know, kind of thing like that, like jingles and stuff like that. AI has a place for that. I think it has an absolute – because I almost think that that is scientific. Now, this is just me rambling on my own tangent. Um, but as far as, like, food creation and, and, and copying voiceovers, I don't think that that's cool. You know, like, mm -hmm. they've got Sir Anthony Hopkins saying some weird stuff out there, yeah. uh, which is weird. Uh, so I'm not sure it's, it, it belongs there. I'm still not 100% sold on AI as um, creating illustrations. Mm -hmm. Again, I think that it does have its place. I think there are some times where it could be used. But yeah. I don't think it... I think they're trying to make AI, especially in video games, I think they're trying to make AI an, a cheaper alternative to human creation. Yeah, I agree. That, No. No. Yeah, AI that, is a tool. It is a tool. But th that's exactly where I was going. Where I was going to mm -hmm. go with that is, I actually think that if you pay artists to create the artwork itself, you could use AI to touch up right. some yes. little things. Yes. You should use it as an assistance tool rather than a, a yes. crutch. That yes, one hundred percent. That it is a tool. Like like a, a craftsman uses a hammer and a chisel. Uh, I do think that an art artisan could use AI technology. To, as a tool yeah but i think that some people in ceo you know level coo type things they're yeah, going they want to oh, use it cheap. for cost cutting yeah exactly cheap labor no that's not what it is anyway no because you you, you take business. all the you take all the heart you take all the that. the passion and that out of it it just becomes mechanical yes because all art see this is me getting on my art soapbox all art is is begun in pain and, and machines cannot feel pain. They cannot feel a broken heart. Therefore, they cannot create art. ta -da. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'm pretty I sure Dream don't. Theater did an album about this. Mm, there you go. They did. It's called The Astonishing. It's a double album uh, talking about how um, AI makes music. Right. And AI can make music. Can AI sing about a broken heart? No. I mean, it's not a great album but hey well, <laughs> that's no. me saying that and i like dream fit I know, a exactly lot. exactly anyway uh, oh my gosh i'm dying but yes let's go I know, on to the right. next story okay final story this one might take a little bit of time but oh, this no. is a right old doozy my wrist this is starting is... to hurt <laughs> i know but this is a doozy i'm sorry but you need to we okay. need to talk about this because okay. this has been popping off this week all right I need you to recall your mind back to August. Okay. Maybe even before that. Oh, dear. That and we spoke about a that. PlayStation State of Play. I believe it was in July or early, oh. uh, mid-July, early August. That would be when I was at my saddest. But yes, Pete. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, do you happen oh, to remember exactly that we spoke true. about a um, a five on five hero shooter from PlayStation Studios? Yes, yes, and I very much remember. And that. a team called Firewalk. Yes, it was the only thing that looked good for two seconds and then looked awful. Yes. Uh, essentially, Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. rip off clone. Yeah. Yes. You remember the game? Do you I happen do. to remember the the name of the game? No, I do not, actually. No, because not a lot of people have. Anyway, let's carry on, because I'm going to take you through a timeline of how stupid things got over the week. Okay. Because uh, this was reported on the 1st of September, to, um, where, from VGC, Concord may have sold as few as 25,000 <laughs> copies across <laughs> both platforms. So this is oh, PS5 and yes. PC. Yes, I'm so, aware according to a report from IGN, uh, Simon Carlis uh, claimed that it sold around 10,000 copies on Steam and 15,000 on PlayStation 5. So, PlayStation doesn't typically re uh, release specific figures, 
However, Concord has struggled to find a player base since its launch. Uh, the game, which was developed by Firewalk and published by PlayStation, has 70 players in the game. Oh my gosh. That was at the time of writing. Oh my um, gosh. The game has received just over 700 Steam reviews, 512 which are positive and 220 which are negative. So according to um, uh, Matt Piscatella, the game ranked 147th for US PS5 daily active players across all titles, with fewer, uh, with fewer than 0.2 of Monday's active PS5 players oh playing gosh. the game. Okay, so things only got a bit stranger from there. Of course they did. Because it was announced then, uh -huh. uh, on the 3rd, Sony has announced plans to take its live service shooter, Concord, offline and pull the game from sales and offer refunds to all players who bought it. Oh my gosh, that's so the news, big news. So, the news follows reports that the PS5 and PC game may have sold fewer than 25,000 copies, which was released on August 23rd. Gosh. So the announcement from the PlayStation blog, which was written by uh, Ryan Ellis, who's a director at Firewalk Studios. Concord fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PS5 and PC. And we want to thank everyone who's joined the journey above the North, aboard the North Star. Your support and the passion, uh, passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognise that other aspects of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we've decided to take the game offline beginning the 6th of September and explore options, including those that will, uh, those that will better reach our players. While we determine the best path ahead, concourse sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund for all games that Gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 and PC. Oh Once refunded, players will no longer have access to the game, which costs $40 or £35. Oh my PS5 gosh. players who bought the game from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct will receive a full refund to, the, uh, to their original payment method, although Sony said that this could take 30 to 60 days to appear on statements. For customers who purchase a physical purchase a physical copy at a retailer out, location outside of PlayStation directly, please refer to the refund process for the retailer you purchase from. Oh uh, please, PC players who purchase the game through Steam and Epic's Game Store will be refunded over the coming days. Oh goodness! Oh dear! Oh okay. dear! So, I wanted to have a look at something uh -huh. with this. So. I decided to go on to a certain little website called steamcharts.com. Yes, I follow that too. Uh, steamcharts.com. So, um, the game which released on the twenty uh, third yes. had a uh, had a player count of six hundred and sixty on Steam. Yes, which is that insane. is currently the all time peak of the game and because twenty uh, fourth. It went down to 585, uh, kept dwindling uh, to which the lowest point was on, uh, let's have a look, God, uh, on the 26th at around 10, 10 p.m., zero players, Yeah. Oh. Uh, where it started to rise a little bit more, oh, goodness. Um, but then over the last Let's say the last week or so of the game, it never got as high as 112 or 122 players. Oh dear. Where it, before it went offline, it had, um, uh, well, that's Sunday, so let's have a look and see. So it went offline on Friday. So before the shutdown uh, at midnight on Saturday, oh, it had 13 yes. players playing it that's on Steam. That is crazy. So, I then also went and had a look at another particular game okay. that may have had a very short lifespan. Okay. Now, you happen to remember one industry veteran, let's say. Mm -hmm. Maybe she industry veteran for different reasons. Okay. The name Cliff Blazinski. Oh, yes, Cliffy B. Yes. Now, do you happen to remember that he released a... Oh. a 
live service game for Boss Key known as Radical Heights. Yes. Wow. I didn't remember what it was called, but yes. Uh, Radical Heights lasted a month. Yes, it did. That's right. This lasted two weeks. This is now the fastest ever live Wait. service shutdown of all time. Wasn't there a game? There was a game like last year, wasn't it? That came out and shut down like immediately. Like people were um, anticipating. I'm not sure if it was. I can't remember if it was a live service game. I can't either. I don't know. I'll but be there honest, was. I don't remember. There was a game that got pulled from sales, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, sure. Which was uh, obviously we've had Cyberpunk and all that being actual pulled yeah. from sales, but in terms of live service, this is one of the fastest ever to shut down. That is insane. That is actually so, insane. Uh, yeah, because um, Radical Heights came out in April, and it was shut down in May, so it lasted nearly a, close to a full month. Wow. Uh, this lasted exactly two weeks. Two weeks, oh, two weeks from release. And this was based on the fact they had an open and closed beta that just failed to do anything at all. That is crazy. So oh. this is why I kept this a secret from you in the yes, pre-show. In the pre-moment. You did. Because. Oh no, Pete! <laughs> I'm holding up a copy. A That's sealed amazing. copy of Cock That's amazing. Amazing. Is that an actual physical copy? Uh, yes. Like, an actual physical copy. Like not a code still, inside the still, box. Still sealed. Yep. Keep that. Oh, that um, is when the, when the game got announced this shutting down, I went, you and, went bought and bought it. it. <laughs> of course you did. Yes. Daker says a paperweight. Absolutely. Uh, I'll tell you something about that off air because I'm not, not revealing that to you afterwards. Okay. Uh, to the live audience. But um, let's just say that ever since the game's gone offline, uh -huh. uh, the price has skyrocketed. So I have seen people selling this for eighty to ninety pounds sealed. Okay. Even though you can't play the game. Look, I am a person who owns the ET cartridge that was put in the dump in Santa Fe, mm -hmm. New Mexico. So. I can't say much because I bought it. Yeah. So sometimes it's, you just got to buy that history, that piece of history. It, one day when someone forgets about the fact that they haven't got a full PS5 collection, that'll be when I'm quits in. That's it. That's one it. of those collectors will go, oh, crap, I forgot about that ridiculous game called Concord. Oh, let's see if I can track down a copy of it. Ooh, a nice uh, sealed copy, might I add. Tanker says at least that's playable. This is why I have ROM. <laughs> <laughs> ROMs and ISOs. Yep. Anyway, because this now leads on to the last part of the story. Also, Obviously, the game has now been shut down. Let me say this to our lovely listeners and watchers. Before we went live, Pete just held up just the edges so that I will show th this is so this is all I did yeah because I didn't even sh I, I just went nope. look I just went like that I was all like I've got I games to talk about yeah and I knew it's PlayStation games but that's it because you, know, you see the blue box that's iconic I would not have in a million years guessed Concord there's no way I would have guessed that <laughs> I no, I wouldn't that. have guessed. I was literally listening to a podcast on the way home, and they were they were revealing it live on there, and I was like, "Oh God!" Oh, <laughs> so I literally just went straight onto a, an online That's retailer hilarious. of unspecified name and just yes. bought a copy of oh, it. Oh, that is hilarious! Oh, that's hilarious. Anyway, I'm so fast. <laughs> I know, we've got one last part to okay. this, because oh, obviously gosh. with the shutdown of Concord, uh -huh. uh, it was revealed not too long ago, um, the Amazon Prime's animated series Secret Level, which uh -huh. is coming out in December, right. will not remove the Concord episode. <laughs> Excellent. So, yeah, it's still going to have the episode based on Concord. That is excellent. So it was announced during Gamescom opening like live, a uh, new adult animated anthology series. So it's got loads of different IPs in there. But yeah, Concord is one of those that has got 
it's actually got an episode. That is excellent. So if you want to know about Concord, go and watch that because you can't play it anymore. That's so crazy. yeah, that's the news this week. I thought we might, you know, whilst it sucks a game. Yes, that they, absolutely. Um, do you want to know what the budget of that game was as well? Sure. They're estimating it at about a hundred odd million dollars, oh. maybe even two hundred. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to think about all the people you could feed with that. And also, um, Firewalk were bought by Sony a year ago when they were already seven years deep into active development. Oh, dear. Eight years the game took to develop and it oh, gosh. Took, took two weeks to kill it. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, and it says, yeah, an episode of a series that is based on lost media. There you go. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Can't argue with it. But yeah, that's this week in video games and yep. terrible purchases. I think <laughs> I think our lovely, lovely listeners, we're going to wrap this part up. Um, because Kylie's fading fast. I am really on fire, my joints. Um. But I have loved this episode. It's been so cool, man. And I got to go on a soapbox. It's always fun. You, you always do. I always do. You always find a way. Tangent time. Um, but, Pete, that means we need to know all the places they can find you. Uh, you you can find me on the Sony servers playing Conquered. Oh, wait. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, <laughs> Pete. Uh, no, you can so you can find me on the internet in certain places. I am mostly in discords such as Rapid Reviews, Modern Escapism, and a few others. But if you want to see me look and, and hear my dulcet tones, yeah. you can listen to the Never Watchers podcast, a film and TV based podcast where we are covering all things Marvel and other films and TV shows. Uh, it's been decided that we're doing Super Mario Brothers next. However, it's bit of a pain in the ass because it's not on streaming service so i've got to go and actually buy a physical version of it what? and i spent all my money on concord oh well there you go <laughs> <laughs> not really uh, um no i've got i've got to track down some um decent copies of it i want to yeah. get it on blu-ray if i'm watching yeah. it because screw dvd so yeah i'll um we're hoping to get an episode out soon enough but i think the next one might actually be um whatever the crap it's called the what the um agatha series yes. like the the name has changed so many times i can't even remember what it's called but yeah, yeah i, I think that's coming out soon so we're gonna have to cover that next yeah god I but yeah um yeah not sure what else where else anyway Cardi, where can they find you uh, in their streaming yeah uh actually nana says one more thing i want to add to cop cam cop, cop cam Capcom composers Hideki and Sayori Atsumi have started their own studio. It's called Birdkin. Oh, that's cool. Speaking of Birdkin, if you want to watch me date pigeons. That's but, a good segue. I know. I did really well. But for real, I am saying please, please, please. I, I'm not ashamed to beg. I am not too <laughs> proud to beg. Ain't too proud to beg. That's a song, by the way. Um, that's how old I am. I think it is it TLC or Salt and Pepper. I can't remember. Uh, but no clue. <laughs> come and follow me. Yeah, it says that was a great segue. Yes, it was. Um, but come follow me over on Twitch TV forward slash K I L E Y underscore W I L D E because I am trying to get affiliate. I'm so close. Unfortunately, Nana's a mod over in my chat as well. Unfortunately, we had two spammers this oh, week, which boo. means they followed me, and then we had to ban them, which then takes away my follows. Uh, so I lost two follows this week, which was heartbreaking. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, I do Mondays. I do FPS games. Um, you're going to be enjoying that one. I got something cool coming up. Wednesday, I want to hurry up and get over with. I mean, I do want to finish out How to Fool Boyfriend. I do. Because the next weird game I got lined up, I'm very excited about. Can you reveal it here, or are you keeping it a secret? I will say that it involves a rodent and a gun. That should just tell you right there. Oh, um, yeah. 
That is a great weird Wednesday game. I am. I mean, it could could also work for your FPS. It could. I thought about that too, but it does fit better uh, with weird Wednesdays. And then Fridays, I have a scary game lined up. Ooh. So more Hitman then. Probably. I mean, <laughs> always be prepared for a Hitman stream. Uh, and then Saturday, I'm going to try another. <laughs> I'm going to try a cozy stream. It's not going to last. I really did try to be wholesome and cozy, and I didn't cuss, and I didn't say sex jokes, and it did last about 15 minutes. And then Pylord showed up, and Nana was there, and a bunch of people showed up in my chat. And it, ju and it just went to it hell. Just, yeah, it was like, you know what? No. <laughs> just embrace it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the Embracer group. Um, but I'll tell ya. Another place that my Hitman videos is popping off, not a joke, over on YouTube. Go search Kylie Wilde. I really need followers on my YouTube as well because I am getting massive views. I'm getting like a thousand views overnight. Actually, more like 1,200 views overnight. So every night I'm racking up these views. But I'm only racking up about four followers a week. So please come follow me on YouTube. I will be your best friend. And also I'm on TikTok, which is also Kylie Wilde. Um, which is also going cray cray. I don't know why people want to watch this. I don't know what's funny about this. Not only do they watch this, they like it and they share it. You need to, they share this and I don't know why. Um, also, if you want to see less video, I mean, I still do some video, video game stuff, but a lot more gym stuff. It is, uh, Mm -hmm. K-I-L-E-Y underscore underscore W-I-L-D-E over on Instagram, but that's going to mostly be gym stuff anyway. But there is video game clips. There is links in the description whoop, whoop. to all of it. And you can follow me over on X, Twitter, but it is literally I don't talk on there. I just no. have a little like program that puts out links Your streams. Cli uh, clips and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's all it. Right. I think so. But anyway, just before we go, we have it obviously in the in the outro when you listen to it. Yes. Um, but we don't advertise this enough. We have a Blue Sky account. Oh, so if you yes. want to follow us on Blue Sky, please do. The link is in the do description. That. We need some more followers over there because Twitter sucks. Anyway. Yes. Um, I also am on Blue Sky. You can find me there too. I don't ever look at it, but you can find me there. I know. I forget you're there, but I, I keep forgetting because I need to keep posting our episodes on there as I well. Know, but, you know, I know. It's fine. Anyway, yeah, that's us. That's us. All right. That's going to do it for this episode. Of course, our <laughs> lovely, lovely listeners who we love and adore, you could watch us. We do a pre and post show over on Twitch, which is twitch.tv forward slash rapid reviews where we can talk and drink and smoke and stuff we don't actually but we do talk to our lovely beautiful chat that we absolutely adore but i think that's into it for us so we're going to see you and talk to you next week bye there's one good there's one bad which one's which <laughs> bye that can be said about us pete oh goodness yeah that's true Thus ends the podcast portion. Oh my gosh. I love you guys, but I'm dying. I'm literally dying. I probably am actually literally dying. I hope you can't hear my fan. I had to turn that on. No, oh, I was changing my sound settings there. I didn't oh, okay. hear what you said. I was just talking about how I turned my fan on. But I know. No, you think I can't hear it? Oh, I'm sad. I was hoping it couldn't be picked up. No, I, 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 I hear it. Oh my gosh. I am going to go crash into me. Yeah. Um, Danker <laughs> says, no, I can't detect it. So I believe Danker. I can definitely hear it. I know it's, it is registering, but it's only registering a little tiny bit. So it's I think fine. It's, it's not that bad. It's Pete's audio equipment <laughs> picking it up. Oh yeah. Let's oh, just blame it on me. Yep. Blame it on me. Um, I'm dying. I'd rather blame it on the boogie. Yes. Um, but I do think our lovely, beautiful chat, you guys are amazing. You always make me happy. Um. Not me. You make me play crap games. No, uh -huh. I'm joking. No, I play good games because yes. of it. Thanks. Uh -huh. Thanks for that. Yes. 
Um, oh, I forgot what I'm playing tomorrow, but it is really cool. It's FPS, but I forgot what it is. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I have to have a look. But... I I write my schedule out, but I don't like commit it to memory. Of course. I mean, uh, what do you ever yeah, commit to memory? That's, no, that's true. Yeah, Danker says it might be my setup eliminating it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Danker says, yeah, go, Kyle. Agreed. Don't hang seriously. I know what you're going through. I'm literally dying. I would not normally do this. I'm very on with the show. So if you know if I'm doing this, you know I'm an actual literal agony. Yeah, I'm. St I mean, just obviously before the, sh you know, we were talking about everything yeah. before the show. You texted oh, me and yeah. I went. So you, like, you don't no. want to you don't want to do the show, and I was like, I yeah. was fully expecting her to go. Yeah. No, I'm not doing the show. I was like, yeah, cool, fine. But she's yeah. like, no, we'll we'll make it super quick, and I was like, yeah. I was thinking to myself, no, don't. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Pete's like, no, no show, and I'm like, yes, show, always show. Uh, yes. Yeah, see, see, this is what you. This is what the audience does. Yes. Good audience. I know. Make us suffer. <laughs> suffer for my art. Suffer for my audience. I love my audience. I do hope I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow, but I think I am going to have to bow out. Um, yeah. But thank you so much. You guys have been amazing. Thank you for your contributions to tonight's <laughs> show. Yeah, um, always fantastic as per usual. And great great modding again by Nana. Oh, every, always. Every, every, all, always. Each and every week. Yeah. And but yeah, I wish we could have spoken about those other two news stories, but I we know. had to keep them relatively short. I know, that's on me. That's on me. Uh, no, no, it's not. It's obviously like there were other stories that I wanted to take, I wanted to cover, but I had to, um, I had to cut them out. Uh, also, Streamlabs says Space Marine Two is just around the corner. Also, not that this really matters to anyone, but I'm just gonna say it into the ether, ether. Um, so I'm summed up to uh, Stream Elements, which is uh, people who give money-making opportunities to streamers. I have so many things they are like, Kylie, do this for us. Do this for us. And I'm like, I have 35 followers. <laughs> mm. I, They're like, you could make $2,000 if you just play this game on your stream. And I'm like, I can make $1 because I have 35 followers. I've got to hit affiliate. I've got to. If you've got friends out there, tell them to come my way. That sounds pervy, but I didn't mean it that way. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap it up. You yeah, guys please do. are amazing. And it says go take care of yourself. Yes, thank you, Nana. I, I think I'm actually going to take some sleeping meds and just crash out. But I will that see y'all. That is a good idea. Yeah. Hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. If I don't see y'all tomorrow, Pete and I will see you next week on Sunday. We Bye. shall indeed. Bye. Goodbye.